Hey guys, AY Militaria here with a new video for you guys. So today we will be taking a look at a uh, West German Bundeswehr uh, scope made by Henselt for the Panzerfaust 44 2A1. So by 1960, the West German military, or the Bundeswehr, were in need of a new uh, anti-tank weapon that was capable of countering uh, Soviet armor. And development eventually led to this, the Panzerfaust 44 2A1, which is actually surprisingly quite similar to the Soviets designed uh, RPG-2 that you see here. So the Panzerfaust 44 gets its name from its 44 millimeter launcher tube and fired a 67 millimeter uh, projectile, typically a high explosive anti-tank projectile. It had a maximum effective range of 300 meters, although the scope actually goes up to 400 and can penetrate up to 370 millimeters of armor. The Panzerfaust 44 would serve for over 20 years with the Bundeswehr, from the mid-60s until the mid-80s to early 90s when it was replaced by the Panzerfaust 3. Alright, so let's take a look at the scope itself. So the scope comes in this uh, hard plastic case with this artificial leather or almost vinyl-like material uh, the coating, this coating on the outside. Uh, on the front we have this very distinctly uh, West German buckle uh, with there's a spring in here and a canvas tab and essentially you work against the spring and you can open the buckle like so. Um, the West Germans use this on a lot of their military equipment, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe this design should date back to the Second World War. On the back, we have a belt loop for attaching the case onto an equipment belt or something of that nature, as well as two additional loops here to attach this case through the sling of the Panzerfaust, which is how it's supposed to be carried, like you see here. So. Let's get this thing open. On the top, the lid, we have a lens cleaning cloth that you see here. And we should have uh, a contents list right here, if I can get this out. It's kind of difficult with gloves on. All right, here we go. Uh, the, the contents of the kit are written on the lid. And uh, this set, happen to come with an additional piece written here on this piece of paper. Uh, this is not a complete set. Uh, the majority of the sets you see on the market nowadays are not complete. Usually it's just a case with a scope. Uh, I got lucky with this one. And uh, it came with the cleaning cloth. And if we look inside, there's also uh, a brush on the lid here. So. Let's see if we can get the, uh, let's get the scope out first. It's a very tight fitting here, but. So right here is the scope for the Panzerfaust. And on the side, we see uh, this elasticated band for attaching additional equipment or uh, tools onto. So the only other tool this came with is this uh, brush that you see here. Very simple brush, wooden handle, uh, plastic, yellow plastic at the top here. All right, so let's take a look at the scope. All right, so here is the scope and the mount. The scope has a rubber eyepiece that is, uh, I guess, cushioned to prevent you from uh, injuring your eye after you pull the trigger. There is a hole that is uh, present at the side to prevent suction from forming after this presses into your face. At the top, we see the, uh, the manufacturer. So Henselt, a very famous uh, scope manufacturer. And here is the mount for attaching the scope onto the Panzerfaust. Um, it's a dovetail mount. The scope itself measures uh, one inch across 
and is held on by this uh, very big screw over here. So uh, you can unscrew this, slide it onto the rail on the Panzerfaust and tighten it down. And here, let's see if we can get a look at the scope picture. I'm not sure if this is going to work. All right, there we go. So it goes up to 400 meters, as you can see here on the right. And it's a, uh, it's a very unique type of scope picture. Ah, there we go. All right, so the little crosses that you see are for uh, leading your target, uh, whether it be a tank or an armored vehicle. And with the, uh, the little image in the center here, you could measure essentially your target and determine the range on the right that you see there. All right. So um, what else is there to say? Not much, actually. Uh, there's a serial number stamped on the left side. Uh, I've seen ones that have been uh, refurbished. They will strike this out and put another one on the right side here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, uh, hit like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment. So it's been a relatively short video today, but I promise you I've got more on the way, so stay tuned.